Good afternoon everybody, this is Ken from All Things Crook Crafty by Kaz. Today is Wednesday the 9th of October, the time now is 1.40 in the afternoon. Weather out there is, is cloudy, um, a little bit breezy out there. Um, today I have got an unboxing. Um, I received this yesterday from a company called Rainy Day Boutique. Um, what, one podcast of that I've been watching, GB Maltese, um, has got, well, has bought a couple of these, maybe two or three of these diamond paintings from this uh, company. You'll find her on Instagram. I'll include the link in the description box down below. Um, and it's all crystalline um, diamonds. It's a full drill. I believe this is a 40 by 50. As you can see, I've already taken out of the outer wrapping because it's got, not only has it got my address in it, it's got her address in it as well. So I didn't really want to put my details on it. And I did have a quick sneak peek of it all. And I didn't, and I was so excited. I didn't, and I thought myself, do you know what? Let me just wait and do an unboxing. And, and I was going to try it and wait until tomorrow. Um, to do this, but I thought myself, do you know what? I'm too impatient. I actually want to see the uh, the canvas and I want to see the drills. Um, because from what I've seen on um, her Instagram account, you know the drills look brilliant. The canvas look looks nigh on perfect. So let's crack on and open the box. Um, as you can see, the box is uh, is is a little bit dinged, and you've got here crystal arts diamond painting new experience, the magic of diamond painting original with diamonds. On here, you've you've got a step by step guide of of how to place the diamonds. I've just put on here. Please don't throw it away because I wanted to do an unboxing, and my God bless my my hubby. He tends to like to put things. Anyway, in, in, enough about that. Let's just get this open. So, there's the canvas. The jewels are in there. And last but not least, I'll just have to get the, uh, the drill kit out. And there's a drill kit. Ooh. And this, this, uh, this is just um, a statement of uh, of what I what I got. It's got a, a little sticker in it on it with a little diamond tape. I'm not going to open this because when I looked at it yesterday, it's it's got my details on there. So I'll just put that to one side. Right, what shall I start off with first? I'll put those to the side. Now this this canvas here that I've got underneath, this is my current project that I'm doing. It's a stitches to stones custom. I did an unboxing on this on the um I think it was one day last week. Maybe in the beginning of this week. I can't I can't remember when I did the did, did the unboxing. I thought I've already made a start on it. Just bend this up just to show you. Um, it's a it's a custom diamond painting of myself and James um, on our wedding day at our reception, um, and I've just got started on my head. This is my veil here, this is, and and it's a counted um, diamond painting. But I'm gonna, but more on this a bit later. I may actually do a, a whip and chat on this. <coughs> Excuse me, on this particular. Um, project we can chat a bit later um, in the in a future video. Let, let's just say what should I start with first? Actually, let me start with the uh, with canvas because I am so excited. Right, let me just get myself a pair of scissors so that I can actually break into this into the canvas. Oh, as you can see, it's wrapped in 
trapped in cellophane. So I've just got to be careful here. And it's just got here, made in China. Um, when did I order this? I ordered this on the 20th. On the, I order this. Just bear with me one minute. I'll just go uh, grab the details of it all. But it didn't take that. It didn't take long at all to uh, to get to me. So just bear with me whilst I have a look at my email. Hmm. Believe. Let me have a look. Let me have a look. So I was just looking for the, for the, I should have been a little bit more prepared, but I was excited. Right, I received this package, no, sorry, I ordered this package on the, I, I put the order in on the 24th of September paid for it on the on the 26th and I actually received this package when did I receive it I don't I received it yesterday so that goes so I took nigh on a week just over a week that I got it yeah that's so good so it's about it's about a couple of weeks I've got uh since since I've got it since well since since the time that I that I ordered it. So, just there, uh, all the rustling. Let's roll it. Don't mean to cut into the canvas. Just to secure it. Here it is. It's got the size on here. It hasn't got the size on there. But it's got the legend down here and it's 32 colours long. Let me just so I can roll it back the other roll it back the other way. So how are you lovely pe people doing today? Hope hope all is well. And they're good and you're having a glorious Wednesday what what whatever it is that you're doing. I think I messaged Christina. She's the um, owner of Rainy Rainy Day Boutique. So I messaged her yesterday to let her know that I received um, the diamond painting um, on Instagram, and she was kind kind enough to let, message me back to say, you know, if there's any problems, you know, just just to let her know. I know, like, uh, and uh, uh, did inform her that I, that I was going to be doing a um, video, you know, and uh, and, and I promised her that I'd send her the link. Right, there we go. I believe this is pulled wax. At, but, but before I go onto that, this uh, this is the size. It's for forty by fifty, not pulled wax. I do apologise. Pulled. Um, Adhesive or the glue, I believe. But look at the but listen to the tackiness of it all. And look at and as you can see I've got clear um adhesive on, on it. What I'm I'm not gonna do my usual thing of actually replacing this. I'm actually gonna 
uh, leave this, leave the, the plastic covering on. And how I'm going to tag this, because it's one big sheet, I might actually just, you know, do it in sections with uh, some, some washer tape, which I've got plenty of. Let me just open this up so, so we can actually have a look at the symbols together. This is really, really clear. The symbols are absolutely clear. I think that's wonderful. You may actually you know, start this today. I'm not 100% sure yet. But but look at, look at this. It's clear. I'll just bring this down a little bit. Isn't that clear? Absolutely clear. With the good, which is what I need. And as it's 32 colours long, I do have a um, storage container for it. So this is what, what I'm going to be using. I'll just bring this back out again. It's my um, 56, um, what do you call it? My 56 store, bead storage container which I've got from AliExpress. I can't remember the, where, uh, I can't remember the, um, the, name, the name of the shop that I've got it from, but I'll link the details down in the, in the box down below. And, and I do have another box like this, um, which I've got, which has as another project in. Um, and what I normally do, um, if I'm ordering, um, the, double size I do get them in multicolor whereas if I, I was just ordering the 28 size I'll get them in, um, all in clear um, there, that, that is just how I roll really um, I'm a bit of a rebel like that so in terms of getting this up I may just may do this off camera I'm not I'm, I'm not 100 <coughs> excuse me I'm not 100% sure yet or am I or I may even do it on camera just so, just so that you can see how I actually kit kit this up so that's that and as always always go look to see what colors I've got um of course I've got three uh 310 which which is in plentiful supply here it's you know that's it that's a, the background mainly so but i think what i'm gonna do with the washi tape i'm just going to maybe do like start from here and then just do across here put a strip of washi tape here and here possibly i'm not um, i'm not entirely sure what i'm gonna do yet so that is the canvas which is absolutely beautiful now now what should i do the gems or, or should i do the um the jewel kit because the jewel kit is very unusual well i've never seen it before anyway so or, or i've never seen it packaged like this before anyway this is the jewel kit it's in a it's in a really nice shimmery bag and on the back it's got a uh, sticker that says thank you and a little crystalline um, sticker on it. Let's just get this open. That one side. Now would you credit it? I've got stickers. I've got a cactus. I have got look what looks to be like I think it's a bunch of grapes or or flowers. I've, and of course I've got I've got a diamond. I've got the uh, the pink pen uh, the pink pen with a single place tip. This looks to be like a nine or ten placer. And I've got uh, the straighteners as well. And I've got the squishy. The green boat, which is wider than normal, but I tend to use my um, 
my um, large white boat with this with, with this belt. Oh, and I've also got um, an, 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 an acorn sticker as well. And would you look at this? This <laughs> is really cute. It's um, a rose container and it's got a mirror. I'm not even going to put that near me because um, my, <laughs> my face is, my hair's a bit untidy. And as you can see, I've got some, uh, I've got a uh, yellow plate of wax, a small piece of wax in there and it's yellow. And it's got the um, uh, protective film over it. And I've got a spare um, small square of wax on it. So I think I'll be using this on it. So I'll just put this over here to one side. So that is the, the toolkit, which I, I'm actually really, really impressed with. I'll just put all these away. Now then, let us get, them, get into the drills now. It's wrapped in, in yeah, put in yellow paper. It's got a little sticker that says thank you. Well, excuse the rustling. Oh my goodness. There's one of these diamonds. I try and stick it up. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Just take a look at the drills. Rustling alert. So if you don't. If you've got sensitive ears like what I have, please mute your um, your video now. Okay, I've got the legend, which tells me that it's 32 colours long. There's the picture of of what the diamond painting is. There you go. And all the details that are on here actually match what's what's on the um on the canvas. It's PDA twenty nine or forty five by fifty. The show you on here as well. PD PDA twenty nine four four forty by fifty. And it doesn't say anything on there. So I'll just put this. So this is the legend on on here. So what I might do, I've got some 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 sticky, some double sided side tape you can actually use. Now the good thing about this is that they actually provide the the bags. So let me just bring this out. I do have a couple of stray, a couple of stray um, diamonds. I think I just got one stray diamond. I'll just put it all out of the bag. Right, let's have a look. Right, we have got one. That's four. Four plus that's three. Oh, oh. Well, me, I'm I'm not so keen on um, using, you know. I mean, I'm glad that they're good, that, that that they've come in bags, but me, I prefer them in um, containers because, for me, they say it does seem a little a little bit more sturdier, a, a little bit sturdier than 
um, uh, you know, the bags. But they're good. But, but the bags feel like as though they are good quality. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right there. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, which was 19, 19, 20, 21. I'm just going off of shot here. Uh, there's 22. We're completely out of shot there. I do, I do apologise about that. I'm, not, I'm finding out videoing from my iPhone. There we go. And that's all 32 colours. Let me just pick a random colour. Number 9, which is a 346. Look at that. That's absolutely stunning, I think. I'm actually really, really happy with this. Number 10. And this is the 310. It comes in two bags. The 310. So I'm actually I'm actually really, really very happy with that. So I'm gonna message uh Christina a bit later to say that I'm really you know that I am happy with what I've got. Um but you know what, I might actually stop the video here. So that I can actually get up my um, get up my um, boxes, <coughs> and because me, I like to take I like to take my time. <coughs> Excuse me, and I can show you what I've done after. So I shall see you in about in a, in in a few minutes. Bye bye for now. Hello, it's Karen again. I'm back now. I've got I've kitted up all all my diamonds. Um, in this box and I've just put the sticker of what the image actually looks like so that um, I know exactly where it is but just have a look at those colors they are absolutely are oh, they're just beautiful absolutely beautiful and I do have some spares um, of the diamonds because as you can see these aren't too big um, so um, I've just kept them in, uh, the ones that couldn't fit in 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 their baggies um, and as I've taken inspiration from one of the um, podcasters uh, Rebecca from one four seven no, four kids at one four seven I've got me this uh, ziploc bag um, which I've put rainy day diamond, diamond paint on in it just so that I know because I've got so many of these um, uh, cases uh, or bags um, with other diamonds in them even though they're just the normal everyday diamonds I just thought it'd be easier just so that I know that they're labelled so that I know uh, if I do swap out my um diamond paintings i know which you know diamonds belong to what project as it were um yeah so that so that's it really so what i'm gonna do now what i intend to do i'm just going to be get a little bit creative and just put some of these stickers onto my onto my case because i think that's really really cute um yeah they got i mean it get kitting them up took me a little what uh took me a bit longer than than anticipated 
um, only because um, how how I did it um, is I'm just open this up is I the the, the legends that I got with the with the um, diamond painting I actually cut them out as you can see I cut them out um, and I just used my double sided um, tape which is this I've got two I've got this size and I've got another size um, just so that they can actually fit fit onto the box so I don't have to keep looking at the legend on the side of the of the diamond painting so that's so that's how I've basically done it um but yeah um we shall see how it all goes but what i might do i just have to see if i can find some um what do you call it washi tape i think i've got some washi tape laying around somewhere but i don't know what i've done with it but i'll find it <laughs> I'll, I'll, i will find some some washi tape um because I have, because I'm floating around. Because what I want to do is I want to start sectioning, sectioning off, um, my diamond painting, just so you know that I can actually just try and just try and keep like straight lines and everything. Um, yeah, but I don't know what I've done with them. Which is a big pain in my side. <laughs> uh, let me have a look. Usually I have some washi tape somewhere. Uh, we'll find some. Ah, I found some found some washi tape which is which what is hiding in in one of my smaller ziploc bags in that for the time being now with the no just let me just clear, clear all my rubbish out of the way Now with these little um, straighteners, just put it there and there. I'll just put. I'll just temporarily. Oops. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I'll just put them into this little case that I've got. And I've got a bit of washi tape there, but I don't think that will you know be enough for what I want to do so but I do have some what should you take from here which I've got from one of my ever moment um ever moment um projects right let me just put this over here Well, unfortunately, I've got to go. I have to go to work tonight. <sighs> Which don't get me wrong, I do. I do love what I do, but sometimes it it can be a. Well, no, 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 no. I do. I do enjoy what I do. To be fair, this is. It's just the actual getting ready to go to work I, that I have a little bit of a thing about. But once I'm actually showered and dressed, I'm good to go. To be honest with you so i don't know how many people can say that about their job do you know what i mean no i think no i thoroughly do enjoy the job i think I, I love the people there you know um so it's all good let me just there it's only just so that i can actually anchor it down so that i can actually try and section this off better so what i want to do i think i'll start from there come down to here 
I think in the, that uh, the only reason why I'm doing this is because I I don't because this adhesive is quite it to me it feels like a poured glue. I don't want to risk putting my um parchment paper on there just in case it doesn't work or something or it something happens to cause the adhesive you know to to pucker up so just think it'll, it'll be easier for me to do it this way so just to section it all off where's the end oh there it is <laughs> i hate finding the end of a of the off a roll of off the roll of tape because you know it's eight it it takes me eight it takes me ages to find it and yeah but hopefully once you know i start laying down diamonds you know um it'll be it'll, it'll be a lot easier for this to actually flatten out i believe but yeah i think i'll just do it like so And then what I'll do is I'll go across as well. Just to make life just that little bit easier for myself. Um, it's only because it, it's a clear plastic and um, I just like to know where all that where all the edges are and that so yeah but upon thinking about it I may do this I may do this as a as a, as a time lapse I'm not I haven't quite figured out how I'm gonna do it yet but we shall see but like i said i may actually make a start on it you know just just to test out the um glue and that because to me the glue look oh i do apologize i keep doing that because the glue does you know appear to be really really nice and and tacky and i want to give this review of the diamond painting my best shot if that makes sense. I hope so. I hope so anyway. Oh. Right. So that is as far as that water tape goes. I might actually but that's fine, that's okay. I will just leave it as uh, as so. So let's do it like that. I'm just put my scissors out of the way. I'm right-handed I'm gonna start in the top right hand corner and go this way because that's what you know, that is how it is to be, to be honest with you. but I'll just do a quick quick demo Maybe soon we'll just bring this down just so that you can see how I'm doing this so Right, let's just bring this actually this way. Oops. Oops. I do apologize, I'm sorry. <laughs> right. right, so I'll be starting this way. I know it's upside down, but it is top right, top right to go across the left. So just open this up. I'll just do a few, just place a few and see see how it goes. Just put that there. Just open this up just a little bit. Put that there. Now, 
guys that I'll be working on, I'll just bring this out just a little bit, on the letter K. I hope you can see that. There we go. Yeah, we're working on the letter K, which is um, 310. See, 310 is the is letter K, and that's what this is, the 310. So, just pull a few out. And let's get started. And I am so excited to use this cute little um, uh, thing. Let's pop this open and try and get the um, try and get the uh, plastic off of it, which is easier said than done. <laughs> There we go. Oh, did have it. There we go. Okay, let's put that there. Okay, and I've got a bit of the um. Well, let's just have a look and see how this goes. Seems it seems to be doing okay so far. Actually, this feels really good, and because there there is a lot of uh, the three ten, I may do this like checkerboard style. I'm not I, I'm quite got that far yet, but so far. Uh, the adhesive seems it seems to be really really nice, you know, and it's sticky, which is a, which is what what you want. You know, you want to have a good canvas, and I haven't seen any any rivers or or anything like like that in here. So let's bring this back back out again. But yeah, they good. It seems to be work, work, working up a treat so far. But I'll just get a small section of this done, just to see, you know, what uh, what it's like. But so far, so good. I think what I might do is I might actually just cut along here so that I know that there's like a definitive line but I can actually work that out a little bit later I'll just concentrate on getting the diamonds down first and first and foremost I'm not going to spend too long on doing this because I've got because I've got to go to work tonight. I finish I finish nights tomorrow morning, but um, it's only I've only got the one death, so I may actually do another whip and chat on this. Um, but I may carry on with this off camera. Um, but this is just to see how how this is, and so far, you know, I like it. <laughs> It is comfortable um, yeah and I think um, when I send the link to Christina um, well to, well a it depends on when I actually load the load this up um, it by the time you're seeing this it, it may be I may upload this to uh, tomorrow um, when I get home from work um, I'm not sure yet. I'm, I haven't quite thought that far ahead yet, but this is working up to be a dream. I mean, they're good. <laughs> Once I get more, more, more done of this, this will, this will just look, this will look great. I think. 
yeah so this my stitches and so well put it this way i've ordered four um done paintings i've already received two of them the, the stitches to stones um custom diamond painting and this and this one this one that i've got from from rainy day diamonds yeah yeah rainy rainy day rainy day boutique when you don't yeah <laughs> um so i've got another two um that i'm waiting for for from diamond art club I've given in. I've seen so many podcasters, um, you know, purchasing and reviewing Diamond Art Club um, diamond paintings. So I thought, well, I'm I may as well get in, get in on the action and see what it's all what it's all about, really. So hopefully, I shall receive them soon, but I'm not entirely sure when when it'll arrive on my doorstep they're I mean they're in the country uh they arrived in the, in in England on the 4th of October today's now the 9th um it's just a matter of waiting and seeing when when they when they will arrive soon I hope so I can do an unboxing of them apologize this is a new like i said i've got this new table table clamp stand for my uh for my iphone um because i was getting a bit fed up of when i'm doing a recording you can you can see the legs of my other stand so but this one is a bit wobbly but do you know what <laughs> i spent so much money on amazon getting you know like, trying to figure out which stand you know would benefit me and so far this is working out quite well because a, i can i can adjust the height um as a um as as and when i need to um yeah so actually quite happy about that but the height it is at the moment is perfect just so because I, i'm sat down i can actually keep an eye on you know to just to make sure that whatever I'm filming it is all in view I hope <laughs> so yeah so I think uh, I mean <laughs> that I just find diamond painting to be a really good you know stress reliever you know if i get if i mean even if i i have a bad day at work um this pro the, doing this hobby it kind of like relaxes relaxes my mind a lot you know um people think i'm may think i'm a bit crazy but do you know what it is all good Oh, I've got to mention that these are, are as you can see, these are, these are round, uh, round, round gems, uh, Christine. But I think the um the black, um is opaque, I believe. Christina, if you do watch this, please correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah. Um. But this is, I I just think this is fantastic. Now I'm currently working on this without my light pad. Um, it's only because there's a, there's enough light coming from the from the window. I think so. Yeah. But as you can see, I'm doing this in checkerboard checkerboard style. Kind of like breaks it up a little bit, but how i do that what i tend to do people do do their checkerboard style quite differently so what i do i mean i do do my do my border but i also do a diagonal as well and then take it from there but tell me how how you you know do your blocks of colors do you do 
do you do your checkerboard style? Do you use your um, multi-placer? I mean, I'm I'm not. A, it's good to have multi-placers, but I can never use more than my three plate multi-placer at, at any any given moment. It's only only because. Um, if I've tried to use like the six multi-placer or the or even the nine multi-placer, my lines don't don't come out straight. And they're supposed to be, you know, quicker and easier. But I just like the I just like the idea of placing them, placing my diamonds down one at a time. Um, one of my pod one of the podcasts, um, casters that I watch, um. Stitcher Dan Danielle from Stitcher of Stitcherista. She um she says it as it is. I think she's fantastic. Not that people think that uh, that she cusses too much. I'm like, well, it's her channel. She can do work, work, whatever she likes. If she wants to cuss, uh, allow her. You don't have to listen to her. But me, I think I think she's too, I think she's brilliant. Um. She, got, I was watching a um a whipping chat of hers not not so long ago, and she like me she prefers to do place her her diamonds down one by one. One, and she was saying that one uh viewer or or subscriber actually had a go at her for the for for how she lays down her diamonds. I'm like, oh come on. You can't seriously tell me you get that. You can't seriously tell me that you've got the right to tell someone how to place their diamonds. I mean, it's not a race, you know. I don't think. I mean, it's not as if I'm the guy, you know. She's under any pressure, you know, to actually complete it to give it to to gift it to anybody. The only the only real time that I was under pressure to finish a diamond painting was when one of my colleagues was leaving and she wanted me to do uh, a diamond painting of well two of my colleagues left now um, but she wanted me to do a diamond painting of of them both which for a large project. It was a 50 by 90. I managed to complete it in under five weeks. But then again, I did have that on a, on, on a bit of a... I was on a bit of a... I was on a bit of a mission to finish it. Um, so that was really the only... That was really the only time I was under any pressure... Under any sort of pressure to finish it. But even then, I still used... You know my single placer, and uh, and I've been working on it like every day uh, for for hours at a time. But my, but it took me five weeks to uh, to get it done. And normally, normally, um, a project that size would take me um, about three three months to do. So yeah. But I'm glad that I've got it done. But like I said, even even me doing that, I still um, used a single placer, um, and I thought, well, I'm more comfortable using a single placer than I am using a, a than I am using a multi placer. And you know, it's not the be all or end all if I don't actually use it to be honest i mean it's good it's good to to have them there but i'm a but i'm a more of a you know single placer kind of gal to be honest and so as i was saying danielle from stitcherista she was not a happy woman at all so i was like i can't believe this person was telling me how to get you know telling me how to diamond paint how dare they as well you do good. You do have some good, some crazy people in the world. Put it that way. <laughs> so, 
yeah but me yeah, i do as you can see i am switching it up a little bit i'm just um doing i'm just doing me really <laughs> but i just find that that this met that the method that i'm using is is for me quicker no many, many, many people may think no actually that looks quite tedious and long not really but then again i am just doing me I'm just doing what pleases me. If I if I am honest. And I find that, yeah, for me personally, I find that I can't... I mean, we, if, if we use any, anything bigger than a three plates, uh, I can't place them as straight as I want them to. So, yeah. But this is just, this is good. When I figure, when I completed my, um, um, my, my time sensitive, um, diamond painting, I couldn't diamond paint for a week. I tried, but my wrist, um and and the base of my thumb were absolutely killing me. But I think it's the fact that I was that I spent long hours doing it every day, and I thought you know what, I just need to stop. I tried. I tried to do. I start to do a smaller diamond painting, but now nah, my now nah, my wrist. I had to give my my hand my hand and my wrist a, a break because it was so sore. But yeah, but you know how you know how it is when you get when you get onto a bit of a roll, and you just have to, you know, get on. I'm like a, I'm like that at work. Once I'm on a roll and I've got things that, you know, I always make a plan in my head of what, of what I want to do, and then I just go ahead and do it. You know, but sometimes the, even the best, the best laid plans, you know, tend to go awry sometimes. But as long as I get all my work done and before eight o'clock, that's when the handover is. I'm, 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 I'm happy. Yeah, I do find this absolutely satisfying. And anybody who says otherwise, well, what what do what do they know? <laughs> so tell me, what other hobbies do you have? Do you get apart from diamond painting? Do you do you crochet? Do you cross stitch? Do you do paint by numbers? You know, I mean, I've the, you know, there are so many podcasters that I've um been been watching, um, and like me, because I cro I crochet as well, they have other hobbies. You know, they either knit, they do scrapbooking, they do paint by numbers, color by numbers. You know, that that kind of thing uh paint by numbers and, and i never really got into if i'm if i am honest i've that either i've never been a good been good with 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 actual proper paint um you know i've they got i've doubled in the cross stitch which you know i need to get back into um but yeah Right, just leave, you know, your comments in the, uh, you know, what hobbies you do in the comments down below, so that we can all compare notes, you know. Oh, and also, work out what is your favorite? If you like, if you love diamond painting as much as I do, what's your favorite uh, drill? Do you like round? Do you like square? Me, I prefer. I, although I love, I love round. Um, drills. 
I actually prefer square because they actually give you um, a better definition of things. Round, they're good. I mean, round, I love, I love round. They're good. In fact, that they're quicker and easier to place and um, e and quicker to work up. Um, I have to admit, but the square, I feel, um, they actually give you, sorry, a better, oh, no, no, that, will, that wasn't going to work, better definition. So I just wanted to bring my work a little bit closer. Let's see if I can actually bring that out. Oh, don't apologise. There we go. That's, this is what I mean by checkerboard style. Let me just, Yeah, just just so they can see what I'm actually doing. But I'm just gonna work on this on this section here. Um because I've got my even though my light pad is underneath, um I've got my my battery my bat my battery banks close to hand for me to actually um use them and also I've got my um my other cancer underneath because I just wanted to see how they got how this worked up how this worked up I wanted to show you guys how this work is working up and what and what it's like. I just think I think I just think this is really really nice. I'm actually really very very impressed with it all to be honest with you. Yeah, but I do, I do love this rose. Um, I do, no, I do love this rose con container. I might get, I mean, once the, the, um, what do you call it? The wax is finished in here. I'll use the other piece of yellow wax as well. Um, so, you know. Yeah, so let me just get this section finished. Um, and then, and then I'm, and I'll just leave it at that. Because I've been talking now for 35 minutes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I usually don't talk for that long if I'm here by myself. I mean, James is, is at work at the moment. Um, and when I'm doing like whipping chats or unboxings. I actually prefer if he's not if he's not actually here. You know. Only because I can I can gather my thoughts and you know just talk. Might be absolute rubbish but uh, what can I say? And I, I mean I'm talking I'm just talking generally. Um I didn't get much. I mean I worked last night um, for those of you who don't know, I work as a nurse um, in in my local hospital, um, looking looking after preterm babies. They go out, oh, and they are just precious. Sometimes I think they're conspiring against me, but I still think, you know, they're absolutely precious. You know, just you know, primarily looking after them, and also providing support. To parents, especially first-time parents, you know, because I don't expect their their first babies to come as early as early as they do. So it's all about you know provide, providing uh, support for them, making sure that they're not anxious, um, you know, and always making sure you know that they're kept in the loop of what, of what's happening with their babies. Because at um because at the end of the day, as a nurse, that's what I do. I am I am an advocate for my, you know, for my patients. Because they don't have a voice. So I have to provide the you know one for them. But I love the fact that you know parents are, that parents you know actively get involved, um in any decision, 
you know, about what cares provided to their babies. Which to me is very, very important, you know. Because at the end of the day, it's their child, you know, and if they feel that, you know, that, you know, that they don't want something, it is their right to say no. You know, which I fully understand. But sometimes we have to, we have to do things in the, you know, what's what's best for baby. So, and that's just me speaking, you know, generally, because, you know, with the nature of my job, I can't really, you know, due to confidentiality, I can't really go into, you know, each individual case, you know, because I, I, I could actually get into a lot of trouble and lose my job. And I don't want that. So it's just best for me to, you know, be general. Um, but yeah, absolutely, I absolutely love what I do. Which is why you don't find me talk, talking about my job a, a whole lot. You know, I may talk about work a lot, but I, uh, but you don't hear me, you know, going into the ins and outs of what I actually do. Apart from, you know, offering, you know, just, you know, that I look after um, preterm babies. We provide support to the, to the parents and that, and that we're advocates to the babies because they have no voice. They can't tell you what's wrong. You know, it's just a matter of trying to, you know, pinpoint what actually is wrong and then, and then try and fix it. You know. So this week I worked last night, um, and I'm working tonight. I'm off tomorrow. I've only got one day off, um, but I'm working Friday and Saturday night. Um, my God. Hope that I mean, they're good. I mean, put it this way: last night was a good, it was a good, it was a busy shift. It was a, it was a busy old shift, um, in the fact that. You know, it was weighing night and and all that. So, um, yeah, that's all I really can say about that. Really. But it was it was busy. It was busy, but you know, it's it's all about prior pri prioritizing. You know, your workload, just so that you can get everything done, um, done on time, and try and get and try and get out get out on time as well which for me is important because I don't like you know um, having you know having to cut because I work 12 and a half hour shifts I do try my, my level best to get all my work done within that 12 and a half hour period um, sometimes I get much most if not all my work done but if there are certain things that i wasn't that i wasn't able to do i just say look this is what i've done i haven't been able to do this because of this reason so and 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 i do apologize because i don't like having to leave stuff over for the next shift because i don't think it's fair and actually it adds to the to their work excuse me to their workload if I'm honest, um, but sometimes it just cannot be helped, really. But um, yeah, and as long as I'm not, <laughs> you know, then going to long to long wind look, you know, as long as I make sure that hand up is not long winded, you know, I just get down to the bare basics. So, but enough about that. That's a, that's enough about work for the, for the time being. <laughs> um, but going back to this diamond painting, I just think this. It just, for me, it just looks. It feels. It feels good, you know. And the fact that the extra glue isn't coming too far, you know, over. You know, to the edge, to the edge of the canvas, 
and I do believe that it's going to straight straighten out already with the uh, with the with the diamond start I've placed it in 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 this corner here. So, which I just think is important because normally what I'll do is just I would open it all out and then and then it'll flatten out that way. But I just didn't I just didn't want to do that this time round. So. Don't know why, but what can you do? So I'll just finish off these little little bits and pieces and then I will end the video once I've got them all in place. <laughs> My mum thinks I'm absolutely barmy. God bless her. Well, only because I, um, you know, I can't stop buying diamond paints in the minute. If there's one that I like, I'm thinking I like that and I want it. But I'm, but I've made a strict promise to myself that after I've received my other two um, diamond paintings in the post, I'm not. I will make it my life's mission not to order any more until I've got the back lock. The back lock. Of what I've got to do done. Only bloody hard, but what can I do? They're not impulse buys. I do get, I do have a look at them and, and I do think, you know, um, is it worth me buying? Yes. Do I have time to actually sit down and do it? I'll make the time. You know. Um. And I just do this for the for the, for the, for the sheer pleasure of it all, but I think what I'm gonna do before I actually carry on with this, you know, to complete, I want to get at least one of my count my other projects finished. I think um, because I've got <laughs> I do have quite a few on the go, so. Um, but like I said, in terms of uploading this video, it's not going to get uploaded today. Not Definitely not before I go to work anyway, because, and I don't start work till 8 o'clock. But there's, you know, there's me, um, because I'm fil filming this from my iPhone, I tend to um, upload it to um, iMovie, and then that's when I can do... I'm still learning how to um, edit and everything, um, but I just think, you know, it's just important that I know what I'm doing, <laughs> sort of know what I'm doing. But yeah, like I said, what what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna upload this video um, straight away. Um, I may even leave it till tomorrow or Friday, so it might be either um, tomorrow, no, I'm working Friday, so it won't be Friday, but I'll do, I'll tell you what, I'll do my best to um, get this uploaded tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, uh, when, I get, when, when I've had some rest. Um, so that you can see what, what's what. Um, but yeah. But that is that in a nutshell. I'm just put this over here. Turn this around so, so that you can actually see, you know, how far I've got. It's, it's only this, like I said, it's only this little bit that I've done so far. It's just to see... How, how how it goes uh, just to see how um, the canvas is and so far you know I actually quite like how it is you know shake it shaping up but I'm going to leave it there for, uh, for the time being um, in terms of this diamond painting and and, and, and the video um, this will be um, uploaded, uh, like I said, tomorrow afternoon. Um, after I've had some rest, because 
to actually put to slice this video this video that I'm doing now and a previous video where I was where I was doing my unboxing that's gonna take time and already this video that I'm doing now is already 47 minutes long the previous one is about 20 something something minutes so that's a, that's a whole hour of me talking so and that and that will actually take time for it to um, upload so I'm gonna end it here now um, and I hope to see you in my next video which I hope will be either another unboxing or it'll be a whipping chat depends on what comes first really anyway I shall uh, I shall say goodbye now uh, ha have a blessed day and, and I shall see you in my next video. Ta-ta for now.